Hey babes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be talking to you guys today all about my lip fillers. I finally got it done. I'm very excited because I had such a weird type of relationship with my lips. I don't want to say it was an insecurity because it wasn't. I wasn't insecure about my lips. I, I didn't have a problem with my lips but I always wanted to just have big pouty juicier lips I just always loved the look of something bigger and better but not that I had a problem with my own lips so that being said I don't want this to come across as oh I was bullied or I was told about my lips and I w it was came from an insecure place me getting my lips done was just because I really wanted to I wanted to try it out I wanted to enhance my face in a way that would suit me um, and just do it because I was able to. At the end of the day, we have one life to live. This year, I'm all about just loving yourself, taking care of yourself, focusing on yourself, investing in yourself, and that was definitely an investment that I made into myself. If you guys are not comfortable with your lip shape or if you are comfortable, more power to you. If you guys are not into fillers, if you guys are just into being natural, 100%. Do you I'm gonna do me. I just wanted to start the video out by saying that so I had asked you guys on Instagram If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, please go ahead and follow me right here My Instagram is at Reese babe, and I'm always on stories. I'm always posting fun things. So definitely go ahead and check me out um, but I posted a Question thing. I love how we always call it the question thing. I posted a question thing and I asked what questions you guys had about lip fillers so I'm going to go ahead and share with you all the top questions that I have right here on what the process was like and how it felt. So one of the biggest questions is where did I go and who did my lips and how did they do it and all that jazz. So the person that I went to is actually a nurse practitioner that does it on the side of her clinic practice. So I got it done from her. She is currently not taking clients right now, but I just wanted to get it done and I felt very comfortable doing it with her and it was a very safe environment. So I was really happy, but she is not taking clients right now. But do not despair. The Blue Medi Spa, I believe it's called. There is a girl there. Her name is Lauren. She is amazing at lips. She does a lot of the Restylane and Kiss lips. Um, and I'm going to talk more about the ones that I got. She is great. A lot of people go to her and they love her. I love her technique and the way that she does lips, which I feel like is similar to the the girl that I went to. Um, but if you guys are looking to go somewhere that is taking clients, definitely go ahead and reach out to Deep Blue Medi Spa. So, how much is it? It ranges um, depending on how many cc's you get. So I got half a syringe, um, which is usually like six to seven hundred dollars depending on where you go and a full syringe is about nine hundred dollars um it's definitely an investment but this lasts for about six months to a year is it temporary it is temporary your lips will go down within six months to a year How often do you have to do them six months to a year as well what did you ask for so when I did my lips, I showed a bunch of pictures of lips that I really liked. For me, what I asked for was a defined cupid's bow because I really like the way that that looks, especially because I wear a lot of lipstick and a lot of makeup. I really wanted to have these like really cute pouty lips, um, but they are not like, it's not too much. I don't have like a huge shelf thing going on. It's just very natural with a slight little flip up, which is good for me i think it works well on my face that's definitely something i would recommend doing is just getting pictures and images of lips that you like and then taking it to wherever it is you go i do want to mention though that you really have to be firm in the things that you're asking for and make sure that you find before and after pictures that are similar to your lips if somebody has completely different lips than you do and you're looking to get something crazy done, it's not going to be the same. So definitely look for before and after pictures that look like your actual lip. Did they numb you? So they did numb me. So let me tell you guys all about the process and how I got it done. So at first she did numb me. She numbed me with some topical, um, I believe it's topical lidocaine. She numbed the area 
and then I lay down and then you wait for like about 25 minutes or so for the numbness to kick in and then you lay down and then she'll go in with the syringe so I got half a syringe and half a syringe just did my entire top lip I didn't touch my bottom lip it was just my top lip the way my lip reacted y'all like it was crazy. I'm gonna insert some pictures so you guys will be able to see and insert some video clips of how it looked and how it was. It was crazy. So my body is very, very sensitive. So I will have like an allergic reaction to anything like foreign. Um, so my lip really swelled up a lot. I do have a lot of tips for aftercare, so I will get to that soon. So when she was injecting me, she did a ton of like little um, incisions and that filled up the area and it was it was good it looked decent when she did it but you can see that immediately it started to swell usually it swells up that first day the second day is usually the worst but for me it was it was okay i do have a friend that is a nurse that gave me um presidone prednisone something like that <laughs> i don't even know but that actually helps with swelling and um taking the bruising and the swelling down it is a steroid so be very careful with those things um know what you're putting into your body these are just the things that i did um just because i'm doing them doesn't mean that it's the right thing but i'm just telling you my experience and the things that i did i did use a lot of arnica montana i used arnica gel and that really helped me with the swelling i definitely iced it as soon as i got home so one of the things that I didn't know is that after getting it done your body really will absorb the hyaluronic acid the type of filler that I got is Juvederm Ultra it's made of hyaluronic acid so hyaluronic acid is something that we we already produce in our body it definitely will adapt and absorb into your body and then whatever is left will stay um, for me personally I feel like it went down a little bit too much so I am going tomorrow to get a little touch up and possibly put something in my bottom lip so if I do do that I will share with you guys that experience other than that yeah as soon as you get home you want to ice your lips icing works in the first like days, two days that you get it done. Um, that will help with the swelling. Also, the prednisone helps, the Arnica gel helps, and the Arnica Montana tablets help. Those are the ones that you put underneath your tongue. That's what I did as an aftercare. You definitely do not want to stretch the area. You don't want to kiss anybody. You don't want to do anything crazy with anybody. You definitely don't want to lick your lips. You don't want to be doing that often i actually kind of did that and i feel like i messed up my lip a little bit um because i kept doing that um for me why i'm going to get it touched up is because i feel like one side is a little bit larger than the other so she's gonna go ahead and fix that for me um sometimes that happens it just depends on how the acid moves inside your lip for me i didn't massage it on the internet people are saying massage it don't touch your lips don't touch your lips for like a week don't do it um my lips just started getting feeling back into them because I feel like in the Juvederm they also has like lidocaine in there as well. So it will numb your lip for quite a while. You really can't move it around and things like that. But for me, um, I feel like now it's it's settled. So my lips, personally, I feel like were uneven like to begin with. Um, and then when she did it, I feel like it kind of moved. But my lips in general, I feel like my smile, when I smile, my lips and my my lips really spread out so it looks like i don't have a top lip which is something that always annoyed me i guess about my smile but i'll show you guys like when i smile it just all widens up and my top lip disappears i'm hoping that it when i do get it done tomorrow it doesn't disappear but I love that my smile still shows through because sometimes like if your lips are too big it'll cover your teeth and then you can't even see your smile. So I'm hoping that that doesn't happen and I don't know if that's one of the reasons why my filler moved as well. Because our faces are not perfectly symmetrical. Nobody's faces are symmetrical. Mine definitely isn't. Um, I feel like, like when I talk 
it may go a little bit more on this side but that's literally just how my face is set up i i can't do nothing about that you know what i mean um so i'm not crazy like particular like i get that everybody has personality and our faces are different but i definitely do want to add a little bit more on this side because this side is definitely um what was lacking in the very at the very beginning in the before and then now afterwards so i think it's just how my face is set up who knows did it hurt it didn't really hurt because you were numb it definitely pinches but because they numb you you don't really feel it that much tips on researching so definitely look up a place that has a filler that you're interested in there's a lot of different types of fillers um so i would definitely do your research on them the one that i got is the juvederm ultra and there's the restylane kiss which is supposed to be a softer filler i don't mind mine being a little bit more firm um just because of how i like my lips to look and to feel it's definitely soft like it's not like crazy firm like it's hard or anything like that um but i think it's just based on your preference let me say look up the Instagram of that person that might be doing your lips make sure that their work is consistent and it's a style and a technique that you really like and just keep looking up before and after pictures I think that's really the way to go make sure who you're going to has a reputable career uh, definitely look up reviews on them um, speak to people I think word of mouth is really good I think that's just what I have in terms of like researching who and where to go to I would definitely look at instagram though as opposed to google google really is just kind of like who pays for the top space um when you're looking at instagram it's more so like being able to speak and connect with other people and the brand itself to find out but yeah you guys that's literally everything i have to say about my fillers i hope this has answered all of your questions if you guys have any other questions feel free to leave them down below and i'll answer them so this is what my lip looks like as you guys can see, it's a little bit larger here as opposed to this side. My lips are look they look very very natural, so I like that. But I just feel like I want a little bit more done to them. But other than that, I feel like they're really cute. Um, it's just this one side that's a little bit droopy right here, so I'm just hoping that she can even that out and possibly tomorrow i might get a little bit more done on my bottom lips but i'm gonna go ahead and insert some clips so you guys are able to see my process the kind of like transition between the very first day to the last day um it's a little bit graphic so make sure you guys are ready for it so this is the first day um i literally got the lip fillers today it's the juvederm ultra this is what it looks like I just got half a syringe in the top of my lip. This is day two. I can feel a lot more in my lip right now. All right, guys. So this is the afternoon of day two. I look crazy. I feel like I have a mustache. There's definitely like a little flip going on, which is kind of cool from the side, but I don't know. Okay, so this is day three of my lips. It's gone down significantly. I just have um, the bruising really on it, but I've got my Arnica gel and I've been using that. Um, it just feels like I have something in there, which is weird. Beauty is pain. I'm not doing that. I'm not all. <laughs> so you guys saw yesterday. This is the second day. It's just gonna get better from here, honestly. Um, it looks really big, and I low key like it though. Like, but I know it's gonna go down, and I want it to go down. But just living vicariously through these big ass lips right now. But 
All right, guys, so here is the day three, I believe. Um, it's technically day four because it's past 12 o'clock, but whatever. Um, ignore the dryness on it. I put Arnica gel, so it just kind of dries it up and helps with the swelling and it helps with the bruising as well. As you can see, I don't have as much bruising as I did yesterday. It's definitely getting better. I've been doing the Arnica gel and the Arnica tablets. Um, so yeah, I'm really liking them so far and I can't wait for them to go down even more. Hey guys, so this is day four. They really like them. They definitely are still bruised a bit, so I definitely have to heal. They, they look a little lumpy, but that's only because they're still swollen. I still have to wait a couple more days for it to go down but um they're really good she did apply a little bit more in this corner because this was what was lacking um but they look really nice and i'm obsessed with them. hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will chat with you all in another one make sure you guys are following me on instagram if you guys are not and i will chat with you guys later see ya